video recording for review at is provided by Wattburner. Take Skype video to the next level. Record, edit, upload at vodburner.com. <laughs>
from China and sometimes other Asian countries is that um, simply not enough uh, professional teachers were there. So they take um, the step and, and go online. And um, well, I think one of um, the, the Asian things is also that they, that they like to learn um, playing an avatar or playing a character, basically. So it doesn't need to be everything like realistic, like for some Europeans maybe. Um, so you would say that basically the supply um, in India is, is not the problem. So that you have enough professional teachers offline uh, who can also like do the sophisticated tasks like pronunciation or accent training and of course business English so that they may not yet see this uh, this strong need to to go online to find the best teacher or to find the best service in general uh, 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 on the internet. And I think price may be a bigger fact. Uh, the local mm -hmm. teacher for them in India is probably a lot cheaper than paying for a teacher online who's in America mm -hmm. on an American rate. Mm -hmm. So I mean that factor may overcome everything else in the case of India. Mm -hmm. So it just would be worth the extra money to have the convenience or even a better service. Um, the price will be too different. The uh, price differential wouldn't be worth it for them. It wouldn't be seen as worth it. Although, um, what's your general opinion now? Having this tablet, so probably being able to use uh, applications and so on, are Indians very uh, technology avid? Probably they are. Uh, or do you, do you think they are more like into this more traditional thing of learning with a teacher? Um, I think sort of learning the, uh, education is still takes a traditional form over there. Mm -hmm. India is interesting because, I mean, although they're sort of known for high-tech work these days, things like the iPhone are extremely unpopular over there. Mm -hmm. It's completely bombed, partly because it costs $700 and they don't have good 3D. Yeah, that's, that's, that's amazing. Stuff. I mean, even if but, you say in, in, yeah. in Europe we are sometimes already a little bit annoyed when when Americans come Americans companies say, okay, it's 499 in the States, so it's 499 euros in France, for example. So we, we yeah. also say why, but of course you accept somehow and you say, well, okay, it's not that such, uh, not that big of a difference. But of course $700 then with <laughs> the average income, that's just, I don't uh, know. Yeah, and also now, I mean, the question is, this $35 device, what is there that you know a 500 pound computer can do that the 35 pound one can't? Mm -hmm. This will, I mean, what is the advantage of buying a better one? Mm -hmm. So it's going to mean something for consumer electronic sales in India. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to compete with these free government devices. So it should change things. It may actually. Yeah, yeah I, and I think that they also um, come more and more um, uh, head in this direction of creating their own things, like they do now for. Yeah, for, for web web design, of course, and, and other things so that they don't only offer uh, services to Europe or to American companies for the devices that they import and that they buy, uh, like uh, foreign, let's say foreign um, things, but that they start building their own. And I think that's a good thing. So that's a good change that um, is about to happen.